Mud, glorious mud. It was a rainy, muddy day on the island of Sodor. Thomas was glad he didn't have to work in the mud like Miss Jenny's machines. The machines were digging foundations for the new dairy barn. Isabella was driving very carefully. She didn't want to get dirty. Isabella never wants to get dirty. Hurry up, rattled Alfie. You always take the long way around. I take the clean way round, huffed Isabella. Suddenly, Alfie's engine sputtered. Help, he cried. I'm out of diesel. The rest of the machines were running out of fuel, too. Jack sputtered and stopped. I can't even bounce my bucket, he said. Without more diesel, we'll never finish this job on time, said Miss Jenny. The foreman had bad news. The fuel truck's broken down, he said. It can't bring the diesel. I'll call Sir Topham Hatt, said Miss Jenny. We need to get some diesel fuel to Miss Jenny, said Sir Topham Hatt. Thomas, I want you to leave for Kronk Station immediately. Yes, sir, chuffed Thomas. It's a good thing you steamers don't use diesel, said Miss Jenny. Isabella, I'm sending you to meet Thomas. So off with you, and be careful. Isabella gritted her gears and steamed off for Kronk Station. And she was hoping she wouldn't get too dirty. saw the road was flooded. Water was up to her axles, and Isabella's paintwork was getting dirty. But she didn't stop. Thomas was steaming as fast as he could to get the fuel to Isabella. Suddenly, Isabella saw a policeman. Stop, he said. There's been a mudslide. The road is blocked. Isabella knew Miss Jenny's machines were counting on her. Then I'll drive across the field, she said bravely, and left the road and skidded across the muddy field. Yuck, she cried. Isabella was so dirty, she didn't even look like herself. But she wouldn't give up. Finally, she pulled into Kronk Station, exhausted. Isabella! cried Thomas. You made it! Only just. Soon, the fuel drums were loaded, and Isabella was on her way. By now, all Miss Jenny's machines were out of fuel. The site had never been so quiet. <laughs> Isabella sloshed and splashed and struggled through the muddy water. Suddenly, the machines heard a strange rattle and a rumble. The muddiest, grubbiest flatbed truck they had ever seen steamed through the gates. Isabella, cried Alfie. You made it, cried Miss Jenny. Soon, the machines were full of fuel and happily back at work. You've been really useful, Beam Miss Jenny. A job well done. I knew she'd do it, boasted Jack. You should be proud of yourself, Miss Jenny said. I am, answered Isabella. But I could use a washdown. <laughs>